It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey. With KS. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey. With KS. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to The Journey with KS. I'm your host, KS. And I'm your co-host owner. And we are here every Sunday night, Mm -hmm. every Sunday evening with you guys here on Sony Hulk Radio. Thank you for visiting us on The Journey. And if you would like to collaborate on The Journey with us, uh, KS, how can you reach our MGT? All you guys have to do is email over to ksmusicmgt at gmail.com and Bree will take some. She'll take good care of you. Shout out to Bree. Shout out to Bree. Shout out to Bree, guys. Today is Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Mm-hmm. And last week was Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, oh yeah, it was. It we was had a halftime show. KS, what ended up happening at the end of the Super Bowl there? Well,. <laughs> Ooh, well the KC won, so shout out to the Chiefs. So congratulations to the Chiefs. I think it was two out of the past four or something. Two out of four, yeah. And right, Rihanna right. had a great performance. Congrats so, to Rihanna. Yeah, congrats on her pregnancy. She's pregnant. That was apparently the big news of the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's like dancing around up there. I'm like, oh, the baby, the baby got a first. Does she first have the same baby daddy? Yeah, she's married. I think so. Yeah, the same person. They never talk about him. Who's she married to? If anybody knows who Rihanna is married to, please contact Bree at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com. I used to follow her. Back in the day, I followed her. I haven't followed her so much lately, so I'm not really too sure. It's like a disgrace to not know who Rihanna's <laughs> married to. <laughs> All right, so KS, what else is going on? How are you doing? And um, what are some projects that you're working on? Doing good, doing good. Working on some uh, some new music. I have some music that's done already that we're looking to put out as well. Um, we're going to be announcing that very, very soon. Um, the projects and collaborations. We were at Salt Mine Studios doing some. Shout stuff out to Salt Mine Studios was mm-hmm. epic. We were doing some stuff with Rivka and Velvet Cash. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know that we've been working with Kevin DeClue. Shout out to Kevin so, DeClue from DeClue Music. So, um, you know, we got some big projects. You know, you might see Cass Weinbrenn pop up. Shout know? out to DJ Cass. Now, he's awesome. Mm-hmm. That guy can really play some piano. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, guys, we are going to be taking requests later in the show for some music for KS to be listened to here. But KS, the Rated R music video is now out on YouTube. Where can the viewers find that? So, guys, it is available everywhere. The music video is on YouTube at KS music to search for rated r um if you want to find it on spotify just search you know ks rated r and it's on apple music i uh itunes amazon google deezer Tidal, pandora iHeartRadio, radio guys so anywhere that you stream music is where you can find my music and right now is where you can find rated r playing right here on the journey on sony hulk radio and we will be right back after rated r bye ks
Depends on your rainy days. Change up your mood when your vibe's not okay. And take you away when you need to escape. It's just how it goes with me on your plate. Do all my best to build, not make mistakes. Stay by my side, let's be partners, okay? And when you need help, yeah, I'll put on a cape. I need a queen, show me what that means. Float it, cause you got it. The swag style, body, the money, dip, girl. Do I want it? No drama, that's right. I'm in it for life. Put me in it for life. KS, once again, where can we find that? And then also, where can we find you on social media? So, guys, you can find Rated R or any of my other music on any digital streaming platform. Just search for KS, and then you can search for any song like Rated R or Prison or even the album F-A-Y-F-A-U, which is my latest one. And my social medias, guys, if you have TikTok, IG, or Twitter, it is I'm ks music that is i am ks music and facebook ks youtube ks music all right now as in every week we have celebrity birthdays so ks here it is okay guys happy birthday to Smokey robinson Today, guys, the singer with the miracles who helped define the Motown sound has turned 83. He also played with the five times until 1972 and pursued a solo career. He released such popular songs as A Quiet Storm, Tears of a Clown, You've Really Got a Hold on Me, and I Second That Emotion. Some of you Motown fans may know this already, but Smokey was actually the vice president of Motown Records from 1961 to 1988. Also, the artist known as Seal celebrates his birthday today. He is 60. 60. Wow. Yeah. Mm. The sultry singer of rock and soul had his most popular song, Kiss from a Rose, appear on the Batman Forever soundtrack. Some fun facts about Seal. Before launching his career as Seal, he received a degree in architecture and worked odd jobs in London. He played with a blues band in Thailand. The noticeable scars on his face come from lupus, a condition he suffered as a child. He was raised by a foster family, which is interesting as well. And finally, guys, the actress who played Summer Wheatley in the 2004 comedy feature Napoleon Dynamite and also appeared in TV movies, Love Takes Wing and Love Finds a Home, celebrates her birthday today. You guessed it. Haley Duff has turned 37. <sighs> With her famous younger sister, she released the 2004 single, Our Lips Are Sealed. And the sisters also co-starred in the 2006 teen comedy, Material Girls. Other birthdays this week... February 20th, we got Rihanna, Olivia Rodrigo, and Kurt Cobain. February 22nd, Drew Barrymore. The 23rd, we have Emily Blunt, Dakota Fanning, and Niecy Nash. And on the 26th, guys, we have Michael Bolton and Iraq of Badu. Yeah, guys, that is amazing. And we have a big happy birthday this week to our friend Carl from Norristown, PA. He will be celebrating his 42nd birthday on February 24th. Happy birthday. Yeah, and also a happy birthday to Melissa B. from Little Egg Harbor Township. She will be celebrating her birthday on February 25th, guys. Happy birthday to her. And if you would like to shout out a birthday on air, please message us on any social media platform or 
email us, you guys know, ksmusicmgt at gmail.com. And that was Celebrity Birthdays. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Chaos, when is your birthday? I'm a Virgo, so mine is September 14th. So we have a little bit away from yeah, your birthday. But yours isn't too far away. Coming up, coming up. stay tuned for the adi- uh, Journey edition of Owner's Birthday coming in a yeah. couple months. All right, all right, all right. So next up here, guys, we are going to do Eyes on You. Chaos, tell the viewers a little bit about the song and... Um, a little about the inspiration and uh, maybe where it might be going in the future. Okay, so I is on you featuring Kelly Ann was uh, was a great song. You know, um, well we first had uh, we had signed Kelly Ann to the label, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I want to do a song together. You know, she's got such a powerful voice. Um, you know, great, great, great voice, and you know, she's got a very bubbly personality, and I just you know, wanted to have a song where I thought that, you know, we both would mesh well, something that had a little little dance to it, a little bit of upbeat. And, um, you know, she came out to the studio in Philly and, you know, um, I kind of had my idea down and we kind of bounced some ideas back and forth. And then she came in and, you know, we, um, we put together a really good, really good song. And um, <clears throat> right now, guys, it is on all streaming platforms. That's Eyes on You. And as for future, we don't know. You know, maybe one day we'll do a video for it or maybe we'll perform it together again since we've only had one time of that. But we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds. Now, what can you say to other artists who are aspiring to do collaborations and stuff like that? I mean, how can they how can they pursue their music career um, working with the right people or attempting to work with the right people? Okay, so a lot of people, especially on like TikTok or like, oh, you know, and Twitter, they're like, just you need to collaborate and collaborate and collaborate. But they never really break down what you need to do with a collaboration and the kind of collaboration you should find and, you know, what's going to be beneficial for you and your brand. So, yes, collaborations are good, but if you're going to collaborate with somebody who's not doing anything or somebody just to make music, well, what is the you might be wasting that? your time You're wasting your time you really got to look into something like that yeah you should be looking into it and finding somebody who's either a at your level if you're really trying to be serious or b somebody who's at the next level who would be interested in working with you so you can better your brand and get more reputability and credibility for yourself absolutely absolutely guys so here is a collaboration KS featuring Kellyanne. This is Eyes on You. You guys know it. It's right here on Sony Hulk Radio. We'll be right back. I've got my eyes on you. No lies. Fire burning in my eyes. I'm a radar time for tactics Cause my body and my heart's been called to action My eyes scoping out your goods and your reaction Since you were made to be a classic I got the wheel and I'm looking at the green And not letting anyone or anything intervene and make it real damn hard to take my eyes off the screen So let me show you a little extra make you scream Eyes on you You said that we were through True all over me too I want to Discard my thoughts on you But there's no escape from you Cause the traffic is a scene, get these sleeves behind the ropes These creepers on the look, yeah, sound the alarm Cause they coming in swarms and they trying to do you harm Eyes on me, baby, it's a go, my vibe's on fleek I'm near, check the glow, coming strong, no lies Full game, no doubts, get your eyes on me, baby, we can work it out so-
Eyes on You, mm-hmm. a great mm-hmm. song. We are going to move right into our next segment right here on Sony Hulk Radio. And guys, that one is National Days. Today is National Chocolate Mint Day. Mm. Mm. To have but, a thing like that, I know, right? Ooh, imagine they just imagine you got shipped to you like whatever day it was. If it was like a, like the brands would just ship it out. Oh, that would be cool. That would be really cool. It's like or like free chocolate chip mint flavor yeah. things today, or something. Twenty five percent off at least. Oh yeah, especially ice cream. Recognized by the U.S. National Confectioners Association, National Chocolate Mint Day is observed annually across the nation on February nineteenth. This holiday has been set aside for all the chocolate mint lovers to eat their favorite treats all day long. The Aztecs and Mayans are given much credit for their ways with chocolate. And while chocolate was brought back to the Europeans, they were not fond of the dark, bitter bean. So they used more medis- they used it more for medicinal purposes. Hmm. As it was mostly consumed as a hot beverage, Europeans mixed mint, cinnamon, and other spices to make it more palatable. Over time, they added sugar, and the combination of chocolate and mint became fashionable. Hmm. <laughs> Today we find mint chocolate in everything from ice cream to brownies, cookies, and candles, uh, candies, liqueurs, and sauces. Girl Scouts first sold Thin Mint cookies in 1953 and are still the most popular cookie. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give me some Girl Scout cookies. (laughs) Mint chocolate is also... The Thin Mints? The Thin Mints. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's also the name of a herb with edible leaves that taste like chocolate and mint. Hmm. Other national days this week, guys. February 20th is National Leadership Day and National Comfy Day. So make sure that you are... Being a leader in your pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> February 21st, National Pancake Day and National Sticky Bun Day. Ooh, that makes I hop, like the, 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 the two, they go together. They go together, yeah. makes sense. Mm. Should have just been National Pancake and, Nash, and Sticky Bun Day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they kept it separate. National Sticky Pancake Day. <laughs> sticky Bun Pancake. <laughs> sticky, sticky Pancake. There should be an artist, <laughs> like imagine a rapper comes sticky out bun. as a Sticky Bun. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me big. <laughs> <laughs> February 22nd, we have National Margarita Day. Let's get drunk. February 23rd, National Banana Breed Day. Mm-hmm. Bread. Oh, bread. I said breed. <laughs> National Banana Bread Day. <laughs> Whoa. Banana Breed. Let's breed bananas. Day. <laughs> February 25th, National Clam Chowder Day and National Chocolate Covered Nut Day. Okay, they got everything going on. Like, what is that? Every day is something. That would be cool if they did send out a sample of everything yeah. on that day for the people. I would love that. All right, guys. National Day. Now, KS, what did you think of Rihanna's performance at the Super Bowl? And would you look forward to one day performing at the Super Bowl as well? I would for sure love to perform at the Super Bowl. Um, As for Rihanna's performance, you know, I, I thought it was good. I mean, obviously, she was pregnant. And nobody knew she was pregnant. But um, I thought it was good. I really... I, I don't know, like, I feel like at the Super Bowl, like, you got to do all outs. You know what I mean? And, like, I, not that I don't love her music. I love a lot of her music. But, like, it's the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like, she could have brought out, like, you know, maybe, like, Chris Brown for Umbrella or, like, you know, Eminem for Love the Way You Lie. Those are, like, classic songs. Yeah, I thought it would be a good idea if she, like you said, if she brought out some other people, maybe to, like, really uniquely, Mm -hmm. you know, like, I like to think the performance was good. I know many loved it. Others hated it. Lots of critics had something to say, of course. Uh, Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal tells Rihanna, Super Bowl critics to shut the blank up. You fill the insert. Mm -hmm. He stated, all you people disrespecting my Rihanna, shut your face, shut up. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the former basketball player 50 said on the big podcast with Shaq Wednesday, we need to have Shaq on the podcast here. <laughs> if Shaq can reach out to us, if he wants to come on. I don't know. I mean, like, I get it and I don't get it because, like, yes, it was a great performance and I get the whole thing. You should be dancing around. But, like, you know, like, she's pregnant. Like, why? Why? Perf- the Super Bowl is, like, the biggest stage as an artist to perform on. Right. So why would you go out there being pregnant 
trying to think she could have waited another year or two and done something spectacular. True. I, I think I think that the whole purpose behind that was that that was to announce to the world that she was pregnant, pregnant. And was using the Super Bowl platform. Yeah. So from that perspective, I think I think that it's, you know, like she could have done it on Instagram, but she chose to do it at the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl halftime show, which was unique. That was yeah. the unique thing. Still think whether she's pregnant or not, she still should have had Eminem or Chris Brown or somebody, somebody come, out come out to just do one song to just uniquely do that to the Super Bowl. Especially if you can't really dance so hard because you're pregnant, you know, like... You know, it's just, it just, always when you bring out somebody else, it just makes, makes it, it unique. It's a Super Bowl halftime show. It's not like a regular tour. It's yeah. like one show. show. So yeah. it usually it's does. probably the only one you're ever going to To do. have a couple, <laughs> to have somebody else come out and do it together, I just think it makes the Super Bowl, it, it always makes it better, better depending on who yeah. the artist is. It could be uh, a country artist. If they brought somebody else out together with mm -hmm. them, it would just make like when Shakira did it with... Um, not J Lo. Who did she do? Mm, she did maybe it. with J Lo. Yeah, yeah Shakira and J Lo. Yeah. Right, like it was together. The two of them it just made, made it. it bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So solo acts for the Super Bowl halftime show. I think it should be just multiple acts. But how she performed, I think, is irrelevant. I think it should just be multiple acts. A Super Bowl halftime show should not be one person. Yeah. It should be multiple people. Because it's such a prestigious thing, and when multiple people switch it up, even if it's three artists that don't perform together. But they go one song into another yeah. into another just to make it different. I just think that that's more elaborate of, of what the Super Bowl halftime show hmm. should be. So now coming up on the Super Bowl next year as KS performs will be Insecurities. <sighs> but now it is here on Sony Hulk Radio. I knew that you got bleed on. I want to erase the pain. Bring you all these good vibes, some real vibes instead of being bad for the game. You can still fall in love, fall in love. If you just let me turn the page, break you out of your funk, it's been too long. Almost everybody's had a bad heartbreak. Everybody's in the same boat with mistakes. But if you wanna love again, I promise everything I am that if you were my baby, I wouldn't let your heart ache. I know it's not that easy to let new romances fly. Let me be the wings to help us soar to new heights. I know that I'm the one, I'll never leave you straight and make a scandal. Take this fight and redirect it, we jetting. I know that you got me on. I wanna erase the pain. Bring you all these good vibes, real vibes, instead of being bad for the game. You can still fall in love. I'm not 
these insecurities Yes, they are showing me That you need somebody there who's gonna set you free All these insecurities Yes, they are showing me That you need somebody Someone just like me Someone who can make you laugh Make you smile Turn you on, turn you out I promise, keep that down You know what I'm talking about Pull you up, put you out from all those bad days Get rid of all your insecurities And we are back after insecurities What was it like working with Kenny Monroe? It was good. And, you know, I wish um, we would have got to sit in the studio together and, you know, collaborate on the whole song. That would have been really cool. But um, uh, we were kind of like, you know, last minute trying to figure out who we were trying to get on the somebody. song. Yeah. And really needed somebody and kind of started going through our list of people and who would fit and who might be good. And um, and Ketty pulled through, you know. Uh, she did a great verse, a great job. And I'm... You know, it was it was a, it was a it's, it's a really good song. It so. was like, it was good to work with her. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a new section, new section right here on Sony Hulk Radio. This is a first timer, so you guys better get ready. It's a KS and owner hypothetical question and answer section. Are you ready, KS? For both of us, would you take a seventy k a week job offer where you get paid to sit in a back? Blank, pitch blank, pitch black, sorry, pitch black room, or do nothing for 20 hours a day. Oh, and do nothing for $20 an A. $20, 20 hours a day. Okay, I have, so you're getting paid $70,000 a week where you sit in a pitch black room and do nothing for 20 hours a day. Definitely not. It depends how many days and how many weeks committed. So, like, I could do that for a week for $70,000 for one week. One week, $70,000. Pitch black room they're, for 20 hours a like day. They're asking if you, like, as a job job, not just like a one week thing. Well, that's what I'm saying. It would job. depend yeah. on how long you'd have to do the job for. Like, I could do it for, for one week, week yeah. but I couldn't do it. I could do life. one week a month. I don't know. That's a lot. That's, one that's, week for sure. 70000 for one week crazy a month. crazy in the dark like that. It's a million dollars a year. This is, one this, week a this month. This room where they take all the sound out where it's pitch black and you go crazy in there. But they got to feed you. Yeah. I mean, if I'm eating like steaks and stuff, and like I'm chilling, seventy thousand. Yeah, that's a million dollars a year for one week in seclusion a month. I mean, if I could do that, yeah. But if it's a full time job, the other three weeks I'd be arrested. Of going from one part of the world, seventy thousand, I spent twenty. I spent thirty thousand on vacation for three weeks. I mean, the sun. All <laughs> Never go inside. Sleeping outside. Yeah. <laughs> sleeping during the day. Mm -hmm. And the week before, just going to like pre isolation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, that's a good one. Would you choose to be pain free for the rest of your life or take a one million payout tomorrow? Ah, I see. So if you're in a car accident or you know what I'm saying, whatever. Is it, is it like long -term physical pain? pain? Is it emotional? No, it'd be long it would be physical it pain. Physical, physical pain? pain? No, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I'd probably just take the million. I would I would not want to be in pain like that. Yeah, but I mean, like, how often are you in pain? You know what I mean? Well, like, compared to a million. A million dollar payout would be of a situation where you were in pain every day. To get a million dollar settlement, oh. you have to be in pain every day. Well, that big of a then, settlement. Then I would take the pain for yeah, you. Yeah, you, would, you wouldn't be able to work I and mean, you'd be crippled. But if it was just Could a, be bound a wheelchair for. Could be bound to a wheelchair. True. Lose, Could lose be bound to like, a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Or have to, like, be in, like, a, like a, like a uh, walker. So yeah, if it was just no pain or a million dollars, I'd definitely take a million dollars. But if it was like no, it's pain. Pain. It, would yeah. you like if you're pain free, you're not gonna get the million dollars, but then you won't have pain. Depends for on life. depends on what kind of pain, you know. Like is it like like ah, my toe is broken. <laughs> well, but I'm saying a million yeah, a million dollar payout references like it's severe, like severe like, yeah. yeah. So. I don't know. Like I might be able to deal with. You could do arm. the seventy thousand a month in isolation and make the million without pain. Or I could lose an arm and stay in the dark <laughs> and be really rich. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's terrible. But I mean, would hey, you, it it would next <laughs> million dollars? I don't care about my arm. Uh, <laughs> would you rather forget about yourself or forget about anyone else? Uh, uh, like if you got dementia or something later in life, would you for rather forget like who other people are, or would you rather forget who you are? Because I think it happens both ways. If you like, they have people that forget everything around them, or people that just don't remember what they're doing. They remember other, other people, but they don't remember them. 
I think I would rather remember other people than myself. Yeah. Because somebody could teach me about myself, but if I saw and a whole bunch yeah. of people and I didn't know who anybody was, I think I, so it too. would be yeah. real scary. I, I would like. probably rather remember other people. Okay, so do we have any TikTok shout outs today? Um, honestly, the last couple of days we've been traveling, so just a big shout out to my mods. Y'all know who you are, like Real Zach and Lily the Sound and and uh, James Houston, James Houston Jr. and Chels and Eric and and, and, and CB Kristen. Turbo. Yeah, they got some Kristen. new new people that have mm-hmm. come in. Yeah, so shout out to you guys. Shout you guys are amazing. Uh, Mad- Madison Cooley, and yeah. So guys, we are always looking for people to invite on air with us or and even join our team. So if anyone you know may be interested, please email Bree at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com. If you would like to advertise on the journey, such as dessert options, mm-hmm. KS loves a nice bite of a dessert option. Mm-hmm. A little chocolate meringue or uh, some of that peanut rula. butter crunch or cinnamon or oh, yeah. everything but like blueberry. You're not really a big fan of blueberry. Yeah. But it's not the, fl- it, it like depends. It's got to be like in there. You I can't, can't like, it can't be like, oh, blueberry. You know, like I can, I could eat the fruit, but not yeah. like if it's like cooked, it tastes different. Got it's it. Like but if it's just like, like jelly or something, like blueberry jelly. Or, mm. yeah. Okay. So do not get candy blueberries. No. All right. So thank you for tuning into the journey, guys. Just remember the most important part of this journey is that as much as we want to take the journey, well, you guys to take the journey with us, mm-hmm. we want to take the journey yeah, with you. you guys. So let us know what you're up to. Reach out to us on the journey and mm-hmm. listen for us next week on the journey right here on Sony Hulk Radio yes. every Sunday at 8 p.m. You guys have a great week. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey with KS. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey with KS.